This is Susan Woods of Susan Woods Nonprofit Solutions. Thank you for your time. I'm publishing a series of short video messages to walk you through the steps to starting 501c3 nonprofit organizations. This is the first video in the series, and it is entitled How to Start 501c3 Nonprofit Organizations. Step one, validate problem. So step one is validating problems. The first step to starting a 501c3 nonprofit organization is to validate the problem by providing statistical data that supports your claim. In addition, you must confirm that the people who you perceive to have the problem believe there is a problem and is open to receiving help. So let's take an example. Let's pretend that you are a third grade teacher and you want to start a 501c3 nonprofit organization to help children learn to read on grade level. You are seeing that students are being promoted to third grade and coming into your class without the reading skills necessary which causes you to have to work extra hard to get their reading skills up to the third grade level. So you would like to start an after school reading program for second graders so that they will be ready to read on the third grade level when they are actually in the third grade. So you have identified a problem. However, you must validate that problem as the first step to starting your 501c3 nonprofit organization. What type of data can you acquire to prove that there is a problem or to support your claim of a problem? Well, that should be very easy. If you are a third grade teacher, and you are having children come into your class who are not reading on the third grade level from the second grade, then there is a problem that you should be able to validate with data from the grade report system. So you will compile the data from the grade report system to prove that the children who've been promoted to third grade are not ready for third grade. In addition, you must confirm that the parents of the students perceive that there is a problem as well. That should be easy to do by meeting with the parents and sharing your concerns with them. The parents of your students, that's easy. During PTA meetings, you can talk about your concerns regarding their child's reading level when they came into your class to see if they will agree that there is actually a problem. So once you've completed these two tasks, providing the data and talking with the people who are impacted by the problem, you have then validated the problem. And so you have to document what you've learned from completing the, by completing the task. So step one of starting a 501c3 nonprofit organization is validating the problem. In this case, you are proving that there is a problem with the students being promoted to the third grade and not ready to read on a third grade level. Again, I'm Susan Woods, and I started a 501c3 nonprofit organization in 2006. I offered two programs over a 10 year period successfully. I've earned three nonprofit management certificates. I teach in person classes and I offer online classes. I also complete the Form 1023 Application for Recognition of Exemption for clients across the country. To learn more about me, please visit my website at www.trustsusanwoods.com. Thank you so much for watching this short video message, which is step one to starting a 501c3 nonprofit organization. Validate problem. I'm Susan Woods. Thank you for your time and have a great day.